April is here and today we're doing something super super exciting! If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, please make sure to do so. You know that I started like a playroom makeover probably, I don't know, like in March or April, and somehow I've been always postponing it, and because I was making so many custom pieces of furniture for that playroom, and everything is like super custom there. And uh, yeah, so today's episode, I'm gonna make the last piece of uh, furniture, because we're gonna be making uh, shelves for that playroom, and uh, then it's gonna be complete. And let me tell you, it looks absolutely fabulous so yes so today we're gonna be making uh, this DIY uh, shelves you know like one of them is with a peg you know like so my kids could use it for some uh, costumes you know like and their dresses and just like hang a bunch of stuff because you know the kids playroom there is ton of crap like really a lot so yeah so these shelves are gonna be super useful and they're so easy to make and today I'm gonna show you how to make this super cool shelves <laughs> let's do it uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make some of them from wood and some of them from plywood because I want to make um, I want to be able to uh, regulate the dimensions and the length and the width um, Or maybe you know like what maybe I'm gonna make it all from um, from just like boards So I have here like one by four board and uh, I'm gonna cut it in three parts and then we're gonna take it from there so these shells are a small ones, approximately around 12 inches long and as always I have all the dimensions and more details on my blog so make sure to check that out. To make rounded edges take something round to trace. Um, I used a gallon bucket from paint uh, to make a quarter of a circle and uh, to make sure that both sides are even you need to measure the distance from the corners and uh, make sure that the other side has the same distance. And we're gonna need two of them. Then go ahead and cut off the edges using the jigsaw and um, yeah it shouldn't be that hard because there's not too many curves and uh, it's just simple one rounded edge <laughs> then you need to sand it very smoothly i didn't show this step because yeah you don't want to watch me sanding for so long but uh yeah it took some time and then uh, when it was sanded i started assembling it to assemble the shelf, you can use two methods. The first one is to drill the holes in the front and just use screws. And then when you're done, you can use the wood filler to cover up the screws. And since I'm painting this shelves anyway, I kind of felt that could be an option. That was a bad screw, bad screw. So this is why I don't like to use the screws with the uh, cross head. I like to use the ones with the star head, but I don't have them right now. Well, we're gonna make it work. Actually, it doesn't matter because it's gonna be on the inside, so we're not gonna see it. Okay, and then we're gonna uh, put this side on top, and this is gonna be our shelf. Yeah. Let's see how it's gonna look. I like this better. You know what, I'm gonna be using like a smaller screws, but with the star head. Probably gonna be better. Oh, hold on. You know what? Let's add some glue. Why I always forget to put some glue in? And why my glue always dries up? Huh. Oh! Okay, we'll fix it now. So I'm making a second shelf and for the second shelf as you can see it's a different dimension it's like three quarters uh, this dot and then there's three inches here and I made this curve I hope you can see it yeah so it's gonna be a bit different and uh, this shelf stay tuned because the shelf is a bit different than the other one
And second method uh, is definitely more clean and uh, it is to use crack jack and make pocket holes from the inside. This is what I did on the two shelves. And uh, I kind of prefer this crack jig method because uh, even though I painted the wood filler uh, and it wasn't obvious, but um, still I feel that it uh, makes the shelf look cleaner and probably stronger too. So you need to assemble the shelf either using two and a half screws or pocket holes. Basically up to you. I was also using a countersink bit. So uh, the screws are kind of uh, not shown on the outside. And uh, yeah, but that step is totally optional. Yay! And now to, to the fun part, because this shelf is going to be a bit different, the long one. I want to uh, add some pegs over here so my kids could use this to hang their clothes and you know like their uh, princess dresses and all the stuff because I'm, honestly I'm so tired of them being on the floor all the time so yeah so they're gonna have a dedicated space and uh, over here on the top they're gonna put um, all their like crowns and uh, magic sticks and all this other cool stuff so let's do it I've never done a pegboard before but it can be too complicated right so I marked the distance between my pegs and I decided to make five of them and uh, this is basically four and a half between them. Yeah. Yay! Perfect. Okay. Yay! Check this out! But I'm not gonna attach with them with glue yet because I wanna paint the whole thing first. I know I asked you on Instagram if you think I should paint the shelves or I should leave them bare uh, as the wood with the grain and everything. And as much as I love the look of the uh, grain, you know, like of the wood, I figured that since this shelf is gonna be for the playroom, it's so much more fun to paint it in fun colors. And uh, yeah, so this is why um, I didn't listen to you guys, but um, usually I do. So make sure to subscribe to my Instagram to be able to participate in the polls like this when I'm trying to decide what finish to use. I absolutely love how this shelves turned out and I love the colors and I feel that they coordinated with the playroom all together and I can't wait to show you the reveal of the playroom and yes as uh, I mentioned before this playroom was uh, a labor of love and um, I've been I've been making over it for way longer than I would like to admit <laughs> watching guys I really hope that today you've learned how to make this DIY shells and as you can see they're so easy to make so if I did it yeah anyone can do it so this week is gonna be a bit special because I gonna post twice and the uh, final reveal of the playroom is gonna be on live on Friday so if you're not subscribed yet please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button so you're aware when uh, the video gonna drop and trust me that's gonna be legendary I can't wait!
I can't wait to show you the final product of the playroom. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. Da 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 da